Talking of the, uh, the aforementioned gentleman, that's not Sir Gabriel Byrne, uh, the other one. He is Scotland's most controversial broadcaster, and indeed, he is the talk of the UK radio industry. He doesn't play records like some lesser talents I could mention. <laughs> He spouts off. A man of very definite opinion on all manner of subjects. Women drivers, single mothers, students, working mums, you name it, he takes them all on. The voice of reason or the voice of blind prejudice, whatever you say, he's got a great face for radio. Ladies and gentlemen, Scotty McClue. <laughs> I'm going to ask you, we've been talking about prostitutes. Oh, yes. uh, you are, you're, you're a wise man. Oh, very wise. As I say, you spout off spout every off. day to your listeners. Yes. And you Sounds have... Sounds like a medical condition. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I mean, we'd be surprised if you had it. <laughs> Why do men go to prostitutes, Scotty? Well, I don't know that I'm actually the best person to ask that. <laughs> I mean, the first thing is, I couldn't do what the prostitutes do. You know, for, for a variety of reasons, but uh, I couldn't stand out in the cold all that time, you know, I couldn't cope with that. I think, I think the real reason that uh, men go to prostitutes is I blame their wives, I blame the women. Because if they... <laughs> seriously, no, they're laughing at me. Listen, don't start any of that, I'm telling you. No, listen, come on, come on, you're playing the women, this is outrageous. Just a minute, no, the absolute fine, I just, hang on a minute. <laughs> I blame the women because if they would keep their men puffed out, <laughs> right? if they keep their men puffed out, they wouldn't be fit to go to prostitutes. Now the girls can I ask themselves. You, can I ask, before you go, can I ask you a very personal question? Aye. Are you puffed out? Yes. No, I, I, I actually think. I mean, I'm not for want, want to do the girls out of a job. That's, we don't want to do that. Well, it's seriously bad, but you know, you don't want to do the girls out of What we could do is, say, open an old mine in central Scotland or something like that and get the girls to work the mine. <laughs> and then the women could keep the men puffed out and everything would be fine. There'd be no need for prostitutes. Why do you reckon men go to prostitutes? Well, he, he, there is a grain of truth in what he's talking about. <laughs> a lot more than a green bar. Come on, you reckon there is a grain of truth in what he's talking about? There is a grain of truth. Yeah, well, grain of yeah, well but, but half of the things that they want prostitutes to do, they, no reasonable woman would want to get up to anyway after a hard day's work and mm -hmm. looking after children. Oh, well, you've so, got a, a more of a knowledge than you've studied it. Knowledge. <laughs> I would just be walking a wee yeah. bit of the.